okay? So I just narrow it off, and I will do the hip. So I'm just saying that today is what date? Today is uh, 17, 17. Uh, March 2017. This Bernice Mountain Dog, the uh, is 13 years old, female and spade. Complaint was that she is not able to stand up and walk due to some weakness in the hind legs. So the vet has been giving some painkillers and uh, the owner stopped giving the painkillers two weeks ago and the dog starts to whine and cannot even stand up now. So according to the owner, the vet didn't advise or didn't go through with x-rays but actually x-rays of the hip and the spine is important in such cases of old dogs and uh, of course there's a physical examination which I'm going to demonstrate now and the video will be done so I press Important thing for old dogs, old dogs usually can't stand up on the hind limbs and it's quite common in Singapore, especially if it's a big place. Huh? So the first thing of course you do the examination. The examination of the of the legs. Huh? So we start with the paw. So normally nothing wrong with the paw. Okay? Press, extend. Normally it's not the paw, so you see there's no pain. Then the second part is the hop. Extend, no pain. And duck, and duck, no pain. Okay, the third one is the knee. See, no pain. No pain, uh, extend. I'm going to check the patella luxation. There's no luxation. And duck, and duck, no pain. Okay, now this is the main thing, is the hip. Hip, now this one, what I do is extend. There's like some slight pain. This one's the right side. There's some slight pain. Uh. Then adapt, adapt. Okay, I'm you pop it. Pop it as well. Uh, pop it in the head, camera head. It's not much pain, it's a slight pain. You can see the reaction from the front. You can see the front. Mm -hmm. The reaction from the front, there is not much pain. So, so okay, so you know there is not much pain. Although there was initial some reaction. Then now we turn over. Turn over. Go the other side, okay? Okay. okay. Now, go this top. Now, there, there is a clue here. Now, the clue is, there is a pressure sore here. Now, it means this dog has been lying here more often. The pressure sore is a recent one, according to the owner. The lameness was about one, one year ago. So now, I'm going to do the same thing again. I check. Nothing. Let me check this joint. Nothing. 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 Okay, then it's uh, extend, flex the pin, check the patella, no luxation. Okay, the moment now this is the one. The clue is there but it's not obvious yet. Now I'm going to extend. Wait, don't, don't, I'm just going to go to the first one, you see the picture. Okay, extend, the pin. I see the sort of reaction. Ah, okay, so it's painful. Mm -hmm. so, this gives you a clue that the hip joint, no, I'm not going to do it again, but uh, the hip joint is very painful. But it's a very uh, quiet no. no, I'm going to add up, add up means away from the center. Add up. Add up is also painful. But when I extend, uh, okay, extend mm. is painful. So the, the fellow is able to cut patient with me, otherwise normally they will bite. So this shows that uh, there is some serious problem here. And normally we advise x-rays because there may be osteoarthritis here. But the other hip is okay. So in theory you stop being able to walk on three legs. But uh, because I want to stop giving the painkiller so he didn't, he didn't dare to walk. So, so it's quite thin. So now we will go to the x-ray and on the x-ray will show that this part, the, the femoral head is four times bigger than the right side, the left side is four times bigger. That means there is something like cancer, bone cancer, 
then they are all broken pieces which you will see on the x-ray now x-ray is important without x-ray it keep on giving painkillers it doesn't help the, the owner to know what's wrong secondly the blood test has been done and it shows that he's losing a lot of uh, red blood cells and hemoglobin so he has this anemia as well mm -hmm. okay thanks okay.